Hello everybody, it's my preserve channel, I am Yevgen Karas from Ukraine, serviceman of Ukrainian army. Uh, what I want to tell to foreign people from the Europe and other countries why you need to support the Ukraine, because uh, generally our war is not only about Ukraine and Russia, because first it was Georgia, then it was Ukraine and again Ukraine and now we know about plans and some ideas from Russia to attack Baltian countries, Latvia, Estonia and uh, Lithuania and also we hear the plans to some aggressive uh, actions uh, into the Poland. Uh, also it's not only fantastic and some Russian art. It's, it's a, a practical view to start some occupation because f uh, when Putin established uh, great control on, under Belarusia, he bring their Russian forces and uh, uh, it's a starting point, start point to uh, good start point to invade some Poland and to make some provocations. And we see that Russia uh, don't care about some logic or uh, uh, people mind of the countries which he invade, because in Ukraine nobody want to see Russian forces. So they uh, do occupation like Syrian scenario, uh, total destroying of the civil cities to uh, to make pressure on the government of Ukraine to have um, better results in the I call it trade trade uh, trade talking with Ukraine uh, to stop war. So uh, Russia won't uh, don't see any opportunity to occupy Ukraine because they totally were um, sucked. <laughs> suck from our forces, from our country, our people, our volunteers, and uh, they only want now to destroy much more civil people, to um, force our government not to capitulation, but to the um, peace agreement in the um, negative uh, points for the Ukrainian. Why I talk uh, much about this? Sorry for my bad English, <laughs> I think you understand, it's simple. Uh, why I talk about it? Because the same scenario they will use in the Baltian country is the Poland. If you think Russia cannot occupy it, it also cannot occupy Ukraine. But they will uh, do great damage to civil people to make pressure to the government of Poland, of the Baltian countries, uh, and to, to have from this way such some... Uh, positive moments for their diplomatic victories. And uh, uh, what you must to know is that now Russia under great sanctions, now Russia were fucked up by our forces, and they uh, have uh, very weak and uh, economics, they have low money, they have uh, no um, possible opportunities to be uh, some normal and progressive country, some uh, high-tech research, some uh, about something that people and mankind of all planet uh, will see as a value of Russia. They cannot bring us some new uh, space uh, crafts, they cannot bring us some uh, artificial intelligence products, they cannot bring us some uh, IT informational and, and some electronic productions, they cannot bring us some great um, genetical research, they only have forces and corruption and uh, a huge uh, quantity of the uh, stupid people so tanks and stupid people is the main resource of russia russia is a big country and even now when we uh, destroyed almost half of their attack and group of forces uh, and i need to tell that attack group of forces uh, in ukraine uh, consists of all uh, best troops from Vol Russia, 
even the police special units from the almost near China and Japan. So they bring all their forces from all the Russia and uh, they attack Ukraine. And we destroyed half of them. They uh, now uh, stopped all in all uh, all vectors of attack. And but um, they all uh, now. Anyway, have many uh, stupid people and some reserve of the uh, armor techniques, and they will uh, possibly be a threat for another countries, not like a um, real, real military threat, but uh, like um, some psychological war. The main uh, power of Russia is only their, their weak armored forces, but their uh, psychological operations. They uh, want that we scare them. They think that if we we'll attack Balkan country and forward, uh, all the people from the NATO, all the people from the Europe, we are scared. Oh no! Oh no! Putin will take Paris. Putin will take London. But this is all uh, foolish shit. They have no chance even to take uh, Warsaw. Uh, but uh, psychological war by Russian security, uh, special security uh, troops, will make great damage uh, to the people uh, mind of the European and Western countries. And you need to know, uh, no reason to scare. But you uh, need to take a war in your heart and defend the Europe, defend from the new uh, Chinghis Khan, the new um, horde of the barbarians. And this is, I think, it's very pretty mission for the modern uh, men, and you um, can have uh, a very interesting journey in your life. Uh, yeah, of course, we will have some uh, losses, of course, we will have some great casualties, but this is a holy war. And we defend our land, and we defend not our land from the some uh, great and uh, progressive empire, but we defend our land from the Zerg Rush. It's a totally stupid uh, shit, and we need to stop them. And to, also, you need to do this if they will try to make some destabilization in Europe. They also uh, they already uh, try to do it because if you know in I don't know. Um, like in English, Chernogoria, near uh, near the Croatia and Serbia, it's a uh, Montenegro, if I'm not mistaken, Montenegro country. In uh, 2017, it, they already tried to make some um, some um, rebel, and they have a group of the special forces which uh, planned to take a. Um, government of this country, but uh, rebels were uh, destroyed by the security forces of Montenegro. They already tried to make some destabilization in the some uh, countries uh, in Balkan region. So no need to scare Russia. And you, the every tank which will be stopped in Ukraine, this tank will not uh, came to border of Poland, came to border of uh, Balkan countries. So came to borders of NATO. So it's not a war about Ukraine because uh, Ukraine is just uh, some uh, middle point of Russian um, barbarian aggression against all the civili civilized uh, people against the civilization. So um, you must understand that like every barbarian uh, Russian uh, only understand the sound of force and the, the only thing which can stop it, it's only brutal force and uh, resistance. Diplomatics, uh, talks, um, psychology, culture, it does not matter. Russia, like barbarians, uh, Putin understand only the barrels and guns. Only this can stop it. So uh, you will, uh, with clear heart, you can support Ukraine because you will support the all uh, Western civilization. You will support the outpost of the uh, of the some some I don't even maybe we can uh, some good people against bad people. It's very clearly now situation. So uh, so that um, I will um, if you have some questions for the Ukrainian. Uh, I have some degree of uh, political analytics. 
I'm uh, also reading some American uh, sites uh, uh, of the, um, some resources which uh, make some analysis about the geopolitical situation. So I will try uh, to make you um, as I can uh, um, deeper answers to the question what you are interested in. Again, sorry about my English, but I <clears throat> understand that uh, main when Russia now sucks on the battlefield and every their um, missiles and their aircraft bombers now are attacking not the forces because they cannot do it because we have uh, still great our uh, system of anti-air uh, defense but they uh, attack civil cities and they want to have panic and they want to show that they are a um, wild horde which will um, take death to the, all uh, the land where they came. So uh, psychological war is now, it's funny, but it's now it's their general front where they try to make, <laughs> have uh, some win um, instead of the, their loss and uh, great casualties in the real battlefield. So uh, uh, show it to all your friends that there is no need to scare Russians. You only uh, need to be brave and victory you will have. Because if the Ukrainian uh, can resist all the uh, best Russian troops, so the, if we will be united with the um, countries of Western world, they have no chance. And when we will uh, defeat the Putin and this barbarian horde, um, this is not uh, the loss uh, of the money. This is uh, increase the money because if you stop this trade we can um, much more um, deploy our resources our economics to the some really uh, really matter things like some new technologies like new some uh, um, things for what we live not for the war but to make a new age in ukraine in um, mankind technology and mankind some uh, smart things so do not scare support us and we will fight the evil spread this video uh, send a like <laughs> send a comment i will try to make a next uh, uh, based on your questions so we are fighting you are listening and reposting and we will have a victory about bad guys